I think, firstly, because I'm, I've been a boy who's been raised in Harlow, and I've seen things and heard things, and it's just like, yeah, it, it it's horrible. And I guess also because I'm a change maker, I guess, I guess I want to, I want to be somebody in this town that can change it mm-hmm. and can flip it on his head. So and, when you say you've heard, you've seen things, can yeah. I ask what, what kind of things have, 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 have brought you to be in this position of being a change maker? Mm. So I was in secondary school. I sat next to a, a boy uh, in English class, literally next to him. And one day he didn't come into to class. Um, and it wasn't unusual for this boy not to come into class. Um, but then as the days went on, it turns out that that boy was the boy who, who tragically murdered somebody in the stove in that incident. And I sat next to him and I was like, how is a boy I sat next to reading Romeo and Juliet with just killed somebody that like we're, we're kids. Do you know what I mean? Um, and I think this town is a scary place to live in, mm. but at the same time, like I, I'm not one of the guys that that goes, I hate Harlow, hate Harlow, Harlow's this, Harlow's that. I love my town and I love the people from my town. That's my community. That's my people. Mm. And I want to, I want to do whatever I can to, to change that and to make people also think I'm from Harlow. This is my town. So yeah, I guess it's just, I guess it's like a, a passion thing and a, and a culture thing, I guess. Yeah. 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 You've, you've like, you've seen, you've seen some hard, <clears throat> hard things. hundred percent. Yeah. Um, some, some realities of, uh, what it is to grow up in modern Britain mm-hmm. is it because it's yeah. not just the town in which right, we live it, is it exactly. it's um it's everywhere it's country yeah um but but you don't want it to stay like this you don't want it to to stay so so negative okay. um <laughs> and unless a few people speak up it is going to keep getting worse isn't it that's and, it and um that's I think it. you've found a there is a beautiful thing in art, in theatre, yeah. that we can tell some stories mm. and change some minds, maybe. Hundred yeah, percent. I think in Is that possible? Of course it is. Yeah. I think in any in any bedroom, in any room of any house in the UK, there could be a, the next revolutionist, there could be the next prime minister. Mm-hmm. Do you know what I mean? But these are all thoughts in our head. And sometimes it's a case of going, I might sound crazy, but life's life's too short. Do you know what I mean? Mm-hmm. You need to say your opinions. You need to get your voice out there and people